Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video and today we have our first look at Scar King in Godzilla Battleline. So we will watch his 22 second trailer and then we will talk about it. Very exciting. Here he is, big monkey. Other big monkey. There's the collab. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Love the strut, love the stride. Very confident. He's got that dang on, he got that whip. Alright, alright. Kamakura Swarm doing work. Hollow map. Or hollow earth map. Alright, cool. So now that we've watched that for 20 seconds together, we can actually take a look at what's going on here. Not sure what all that says, but he's obviously a four star. Hollow earth map. First off, lava on the sides. Ground units forced to go through this little walkway area. So he's coming up. You can see the Kamakras are turning there. So he's buffing everyone before he grabs the opponent. He hits a that's a pretty large buff. This is like maybe batra sized buff. He's pretty big himself, but this is a pretty wide area to get a buff. So he buffs everybody with the attack up first, then he grabs them. There's kind of, look at that, it's kind of like a, there's the circle, there's the chain, kind of, it looks pretty much almost like they ripped the Gigan chain, but like slightly worse. Then he pulls them in, and then they start beating on him. He has kind of a slow attack, and he hits inside of leader range, so his range is at least like 70, because what was that, GD9 is a 70 leader range? We'll go through it again. I think this guy's going to be really slow. Like, so there's him walking. There's the grab. Then here's a hit, right? One hit. You, we don't even get second. So well, there's one hit. There's a second hit. So what, like, two seconds, two point something seconds, two point four seconds to attack? I don't remember what they said the damage boost was. It's like a 20% or something like that. Maybe. I don't even remember. But he latches him on. He pulls him in. Pretty good in this choke point right here. So he seems like pretty much guaranteed like a nuke if you can solo out an enemy. I, I think in a team fight though, he might not be super strong on his own. But like, could you imagine he whips an enemy over and pulls them in, but he has buffed your... Godzilla 2024 or your Kong 2024 because from what it seems like so far at least from the readable kits and what we know about our current characters and then now Scar King it seems like maybe Kong and Godzilla 2024 are damage dealers and then Shimu and Scar King are going to be more utility based it seems to be the case here did I actually miss it did he buff himself too with the attack I have no idea We'll get to it in a second, but I think that he's going to be very, like, you know, he, he relies mostly on the teammates around him. He's not really doing, no, he doesn't get, he doesn't get a buff himself, but he buffs everyone around him. Okay. Yeah, he, he doesn't seem like his kit, like, not his kit, because the whip and the damage buff are very good, but, like, his attack speed doesn't seem super great. His range doesn't seem super great. He seems, like, pretty slow, but, like... This big group attack, that's phenomenal. Giving that to, like, Godzilla 2024. Give that to Kong. Give this to Mogera. The Chibis. Like, even the Kamakura Swarm in this video are rip, absolutely ripping up that Kong. So, we can see that there is actually, like, a good use case for Scar King. I, I still think he's going to be very, very good. I just think, like, him in of himself is probably not super great. But, like, his kid is, like, the, his special ability is fine. And that he seems like, he seems like that's what you're going to want him for, right? You don't really, you're not really counting on him to do anything special by himself because he's not buffing himself. So if he pulls an enemy into him and he doesn't have any backup, he's probably just going to get absolutely spit roasted and cooked alive he seems like he's going to absolutely work best with a team i feel like that's a no-brainer but for six energy you really got to work on your placements and your push because that is a lot of energy to commit and if he is soloing a lane or soloing this middle section of the hollow earth map he's gonna get fried 
he's going to get fried. But guys, that is what I got for you today. I had actually another video planned today. I recorded it yesterday. I'll find a time to, up to upload that whenever. But this is what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed Scar King the first look. We'll get him in three days from now. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.